Choosing the right BPH procedure is a very critical uh, topic uh, for men to know about. Um, I tell all of my patients there is a right procedure for the right patient and the right prostate. So nowadays we have lots and lots of procedures. Uh, a few of them are minimally invasive and, and a few tend to be a little bit more invasive. However, the right treatment really is decided upon based on the patient profile and really the anatomy and size of the patient's prostate. Some of the in-office procedures or minimally invasive surgical therapies for the prostate are really best suited for prostates that have a simple anatomy, which means typically 30 to 80 grams in size, and often not having complex features such as median lobes. Those procedures are called resume or water vapor therapy, uh, or Urolift, uh, which is prostatic clips um, that help open the channel. Some of the more invasive procedures are procedures that require anesthesia and in some cases overnight stay in the hospital are better suited for more complex patients or complex prostates. So for example, someone that has uh, someone that is on blood thinners such as Eliquis or Xarelto and cannot come off those blood thinners and certainly have larger prostates. Those men might be better suited for laser therapies like green light prostate therapy or green light laser therapy. Um, that usually is a procedure that requires uh, patients to either stay in, in the hospital one night or potentially even go home the same day. One procedure that sort of changed uh, the game uh, when it comes to treating prostates is a procedure called aquablation. Uh, aquablation is a procedure that really uh, is sort of a one procedure fits all prostates kind of a procedure. Uh, it is a robotic water jet therapy um, that uses measurements uh, uh, obtained with the use of a robot in order to plan a prostate treatment. This is one of those procedures that can treat a prostate anywhere from 30 grams all the way up to 150 grams. Uh, this procedure typically does require a, a night stay in the hospital, but some patients do go home on the same day.